Did you know that Gemini 2.5 can now seamlessly connect to your Gmail, Docs, and Drive? But hardly anybody is using this because for some reason Google makes it a huge pain to turn this feature on. Today I'll show you how to set up these powerful connections that will transform the ways that you work inside of Google's ecosystem. After I walk you through that, I want to show you three productivity workflows that leverage these connections, including one that helped cut my research time in half. When I was running my marketing agency, managing my team, and many different client projects, staying on top of everything that was scattered across email, docs, and slides was a huge challenge. The ability to have Gemini analyze your emails, search across your documents, and generate insights from anything in your drive opens up so many workflows that were just not possible before. So make sure to consider sharing this with the folks that you work with because an AI-enabled team is unstoppable. The first thing you gotta do is go to your Google Admin Console. If you're not the admin, you gotta flag that person and let them know that you wanna do this. You may need to select your domain once you're in there, and then you've gotta navigate to Generative AI to that section, then click into the Gemini app and enable the beta features under the workspace apps. You got to save your changes and that should get you close. But then you got to go into gemini.google.com. You got to click into settings and you've got to enable productivity. So you got to do something on your admin side as well inside of Gemini before you can get access to these tools. I don't know why it's that way, but once you have that, when you click the little at sign, you should see all of the different tools pop up. Here's what that looks like right there. Just by clicking at, you can see we've got access to the calendar to keep, task, Gmail, docs, drive, and workspace. A lot of overlap between Drive, Workspace, and some of these others. We'll get into that a little bit here in a second. I've got all of this detailed in the cheat sheet that I've created for this video. I create a cheat sheet for every single video that I make. They are all instantly available to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's over 125 in there that you get instant access to. There's a link in the description, and that walks you through all these tasks here that uh, you need to do to get this thing set up. So now that you've got that all set up, the next thing I want to show you is a productivity hack that has really helped me recently. I cover Notebook LM in a lot of my other videos, and I love Notebook LM, but I don't always love logging into Notebook LM, finding the particular notebook, finding the particular note, yada, yada. I really wished I could have all of this immediately at my fingertips when I am working inside of Gemini. So the way I've been able to do that is I'll take a note. This is a note that I created um, all about this healthcare startup that I'm working on, and I've just selected everything in that note, and I'm clicking control C. I'm heading back into Gemini and I'm just copying and pasting that in, but I'm using this prompt from the cheat sheet here. I just grab this and copy and paste this into Gemini. And all this says is take the following information and convert it into a canvas verbatim, except for removing the numbers that are associated with the citations. Got to turn this canvas feature on and it's going to run for a second and it has generated this canvas feature. Now all we've got to do is click this export to docs and we've got this doc here from our Notebook LM research that is now in our drive. And now anytime we're doing anything inside of Gemini, we can immediately reference these important documents. Let me show you exactly how this works. I'm just hopping back into Gemini with this 2.5 Pro selected and saying, hey, have there been any major new releases from consumer facing healthcare apps recently? And now I'm just gonna follow up with this prompt that calls in the Google Docs agent with this at sign and it says, can you correlate these updates that it found with my document titled analysis of pain points in healthcare that I created from my notebook LM research? Copying and pasting that right into Gemini. You see it's pulled together a bunch of different things, CVS healthcare, yada, yada. Drop this right in, calling in that at Google Docs. Can you correlate this with my document? It says it has found that document and it has done an analysis comparing that research that we just did with some of the pain points there from our doc. So pretty cool. Next, getting into some Gmail use cases. So I subscribe to a bunch of different industry newsletters and I often find it's pretty hard to keep up with all that stuff. I can now use Gemini to figure out what's been mentioned in multiple newsletters to make sure I'm staying up to date. Let me show you how this works. I'm just gonna grab this prompt right here and I'm gonna drop that into Gemini and I'm gonna do at Gmail. 
This just says, can you take a look at my email from the past two days, specifically the AI newsletters that I subscribe to and find what are the topics mentioned in multiple newsletters. Let's let that run. It's gone through and dug through those newsletters. You can look at what it did here by flipping this show thinking up and down and it's pulled together the trending topics from all those newsletters, which is awesome. So there's one topic in there that looks particularly interesting. So I'm gonna follow up with this prompt here, copying and pasting this dropping that right back in here with gmail selected again run that basically what this one's doing is diving deeper into one particular topic here this is the alibaba's family of open weight models that i want to learn more about so it has pulled in all sorts of information about that particular topic from those email newsletters and now I'm going to use this prompt to format all of what I have gathered there into my meeting brief template that is a Google Doc. I'm dropping that in here, but I am flagging Google Docs this time and running that. You can see it's gone out there and it has retrieved that template and it has created this awesome meeting brief exactly the way that I want it formatted in my meeting brief template. I've got a link to that meeting brief template in the cheat sheet as well if you're interested in that. But we're we're not done with this yet because I want to create a Google Doc from this. So what I'm going to do is just say pull this into a canvas and I'm going to enable that canvas feature and it's going to now start creating an editable version of that right here inside of Gemini. You can see it's gone ahead and created a uh, meeting brief that follows that template exactly and now we can just export it to our Google Docs and there you have it a beautiful meeting brief that has been generated from our email inbox to follow a, a template in our Google Docs if you get one thing out of this video it is this prompt right here this is the mother load we're gonna load this into Gemini this just says take a look at my unread emails highlight the most urgent action items and then list the emails that you think I need to respond to and find Finally, list the emails that seem like spam or non-urgent. We're going to tag Gmail here as well. Run that sucker. And this is such a time saver because it has immediately flagged this IRS letter follow-up from my accountant that I for sure need to get on top of. In fact, Miss Blazing Zebra was just asking about this in an urgent way uh, recently. So it hit the nail on the head there. Also some different things about app migrations and other tax issues, um, as well as some different login issues. So I would say it's done a pretty good job flagging the things that I really need to get on top of. And then it's listed a bunch of kind of the spam, non-urgent stuff that I can scroll through super quickly and be ready for my inbox when I dive in there. I'm not sure if you know this, but I had to make an incredibly difficult decision to shut down my marketing agency when I saw this AI storm brewing. And I feel like everyone's gonna have to make a similar pivot. So when we get into these different workflows, there's more to it than just time savings and productivity. My goal with this channel is to help you pivot into this new era of AI in a way that helps you find more fulfilling work. So if that's something you're into, make sure to subscribe. The next thing I wanna get into here is just a quick rundown of some of these other features related to these integrations. Like I said, I spent a lot of time with this. The calendar is really cool. That integration allows you to uh, search through your calendar and find events you know, from this week or from long ago. It also allows you to create events in there for yourself, but unfortunately, you can't really view other people's calendars, even if you have access to them, and you can't invite them quite yet. I'm sure that will be coming. When it comes to docs, I think you've seen that we can search docs and we can use the Canvas feature to create docs. So a lot of powerful integrations there. Gmail, similarly, you can read and summarize, but you cannot write emails or send emails from Gemini quite yet. But it is very helpful for finding old strings and correlating things together from you know different interactions. Some of the other integrations, I guess it integrates with Keep, which is like their notes app. I don't use that all that much. Also, it integrates 
integrates with Google Tasks, so I guess you can probably create tasks for yourself and possibly mark them off the list. There is a lot of news out there about its ability to transcribe and understand video content. I personally struggled with that, could not get that to work. Maybe if it's already in um, Meet, if you're using the Google tool itself, possibly that would work, but I tried uploading a few different Zoom calls and it wouldn't uh, access those. But there's one last thing that I wanna show you. Remember that meeting brief that we created? Let me show you something cool we can do with that. I'm grabbing this prompt here and I'm dropping it into Gemini. And then I'm gonna grab everything from that brief and copy and paste this in. Unfortunately, when you're doing anything with deep research, you cannot access your docs. So in this instance, we need to copy and paste this in. I like to separate it with these three little quotation marks so it knows what the prompt is and what the context is. Then we're gonna click deep research. So this prompt just says, take the following meeting brief and perform a deep research analysis on this, pulling in as much current information as possible. So we're taking that brief that we pulled from our email and we're gonna blow that out and do a ton more research on that using this deep research function. Let that rip and it pulled together a plan and all I had to do is click start research and it generated this awesome mini page guide with a lot more information getting ready for that meeting where we're going to be discussing this uh, particular new AI model and of course you can export that to your docs that's what that looks like but the feature that I think is really cool is you can generate an audio overview of this, just like the Notebook LM podcast. You can generate that right there and get a feel for um, what's going on with this deep dive research. So this cheat sheet is absolutely packed with resources and all sorts of other prompts to improve upon what we've just gone over. There's a link in the description. There's some coaching options in there as well, so check it out. And while we're on the topic of creating those audio overviews, I wanna show you how to convert those into videos with the these five free tools for refining Notebook LM podcasts. There's a link to that video right here. I'll see you over there. Make your dreams.